Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Dutch Sheet Channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. And I'm sitting here behind this behemoth of a printer, a 3D printer. Yeah, so this is a big printer. At least it's the biggest printer I've ever had. 42 centimeters by 42 centimeters by no less than half a meter in height of build volume. That is pretty big. Right, that's uh, definitely bigger than your average printer. So this printer is from Ligu. It is the Neptune version 3 Max. So they actually sell this printer in three sizes. And I um, must say I'm not completely sure what the other ones are called like. But this is the Max, their biggest one. It is also their most expensive extrusion or F F FDM printer. They also sell uh, resin printers from cheap a hundred dollars to well it's a thousand thousand dollars for a printer expensive it's not peanuts so that's the range and they also sell uh, filament but Aligo is mostly into 3d printers now this is actually my third video on this printer i've done an unboxing i've done an assembly video and in this video we're going to have a look at uh, what's involved to getting this printer to print I'm gonna use the filament that's supplied with the printer, some PLA, white PLA. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, see if I can get this printer to actually print and how uh, complicated it is. Right? That's the premise of this here video. Let's get started. Here we go. Are you serious? All right, guys, let's get the show on the road. So the first thing you uh, definitely want to do, in case you haven't done so already, is remove these plastic blocks. They'll be uh, pressed into the guide wheels underneath the print bed for shipping, right, to uh, prevent the, the print bed from uh, flopping around in shipping. So four plastic green blocks, two on each side. Take those out and they aren't, um, uh, in tightly or so, uh, you can uh, simply take them out by hand. But definitely take them out, your printer will not be happy if you leave those in. So, that's the first step. The next step will probably be leveling uh, the printer and uh, let's switch it on. Hachigidei. The display says a booting and we've got some fancy Aligo graphics. And okay, apparently that takes a couple of seconds. Starting and poof, that was it. Okay, approximately 15 seconds to boot up. Then we are presented with four options. Print, prepare, settings and level. Now the, the only thing we really need to concern ourselves with is level. We need to level this bed and uh, every printer needs it. The printer does have an auto um, uh, a sensor, uh, a height sensor, a bed level sensor, but uh, leveling is a two-stage deal. First, you make the, the coarse adjustments with wheels underneath the print bed. Most printers have that, right? And then, with its bed sensor, the printer will uh, do its fine adjustment. So well, let's enter level and uh, this operation will trigger the return to zero. Yeah, confirm. So um, I guess the printer will return to uh, this corner over here. Let's see. Yeah, looks like that's what happens. Okay. Um, oh, zero is center. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, you get yourself an A4 um, printer sheet to uh, run underneath the print head, like so. And you set the, the base level of the bed here with the two arrows on screen, up and down. So, right now there is no friction between the print head and this paper, as you can tell. So, I would uh, think to set Oh, that was soon. Okay, yeah, that looks okay. 
maybe finer adjustment. Yeah, okay, so what you see is I can still move the paper underneath the printhead, but it's, it, there is friction. And that's what you want. Okay, so that's the, the first step. Then we go into manual, apparently. The manual says I need to <laughs> go into manual. All right, now the user interface uh, presents up with seven uh, areas or spots on the printhead. And we'll need to set all uh, all six and then set the center again. Okay, so I uh, press uh, simply press uh, one and the printer print head will move to area one and I again run that paper underneath the print head or at least try to and um, there's no no room underneath the print head right now so I turn up down the bed a little bit and I turn the bed down by uh, turning this wheel counterclockwise. So down is counterclockwise if you want to reduce the gap uh, clockwise. Okay, that uh, feels fine. Then I move to, well, whichever, but I'll move to two, which is over here. And on every corner and in the middle of the print bed there are wheels. To adjust the height at that spot. Okie dokie. Again, this is coarse adjustment. The printer will adjust a lot of spots, actually, as you'll see, uh, in a finer detail on its own with its sensor. Four. Okay. Yeah, five. Six. All right, that feels fine. And I uh, hit confirm. Now, now the printer will set or make, basically make a map of the entire printer bed in very, very fine detail. Uh, this will also take a while. The printer will first heat up the bed and the nozzle. Things expand, right, uh, when they uh, are heated. So the printer wants to know the exact dimensions or height or level when in operation. And, well, in operation, uh, things will be heated. So it'll first heat up the nozzle, then the bed. And then it'll uh, basically, again, it won't adjust things. It'll make a, a height, a level map of the entire print surface so that if you end up printing things, it'll know the exact height at all spots, basically. That's what uh, will happen. Okay, um, I'll speed up this process because, uh, again, it'll take quite a while. First the heating and then the mapping takes, well, let's say uh, 15, 10, 15 minutes. We'll definitely you you don't have, obviously don't have to do this uh, every time uh, once in a while basically okay so
And after that, we hit confirm and uh, back out of that uh, leveling uh, menu. And uh, what is the printer doing now? Um, okay, nothing from the looks of it. Okay, that is basically our entire preparation to get the printer print ready. Now you can change settings, but nothing uh, other than what you've seen so far is needed to get the printer print ready. And the uh, first thing we want to do is feed in some PLA. And again, I'm going to use the PLA that was supplied with the printer. So I'm um, yeah, single-handedly, uh, regrettably, but I'm feeding it through the sensor there and then uh, pull it through to our print head over here. And I'm going to probably need two hands, but uh, let's see how far I get. No, it's okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to pull back on this tab to make sure the PLA is well seated. Seems like it. Okay, I switch the printer back on. Now, the printer comes uh, with this uh, USB stick card reader with a card in it. A what? 8 gigabyte card. And you'll need to uh, insert that in the front of the printer over here, upside down, up, upside down, yeah. Who knew? <laughs> okay, upside down, there. And then we uh, hit print on the user interface. And there's one sample design, one model on my memory card. Uh, I think in most case of de cases that'll be the case. So that's a Buddha and I'm going to select it and I'm going to confirm that I want to print that. And uh, well, okay, um, I'm assuming the printer will uh, start uh, heating things up. Does it say anything about the size of this, uh, this model? I really have no idea. Okay, at this uh, point you can uh, uh, enable the LED, the light bar. And that's nothing to sniff at. Light off, light on. Huh, nice. Even in daylight, that's uh, quite significant. Okay, I'm gonna let the printer heat things up. The bed is now at 50 degrees and it uh, should be 60, so that uh, shouldn't take all that long. And after that, it'll heat up the nozzle, I assume. Alrighty, heating is done. Let us see what we can see. I must say there was quite a lot of uh, drizzle uh, plastic coming out of the, the nozzle. Ordinarily I'd uh, snip that off, but I hope the printer will actually deposit it here. It will deposit that at the corner. There, that was the drizzle. A little bit of uh, red. Why is that? Oh, probably they uh, tested the printer with red filament. Okay, and it is now printing as you can clearly see. And uh, from the looks of it, uh, the Buddha it'll print isn't huge. <laughs> I was afraid it would uh, print, uh, try to print or show us how big a printer it is. But no, this uh, Buddha looks to be uh, pretty tiny actually. So should make for a good test print. Okay, um, what I'll do is I'll uh, let the printer do its thing and then I'll come back to you with a finished print, hopefully, or a failed print in that case. Uh, well, we'll see what that's like. Alrighty guys, so uh, I actually uh, stepped away uh, for uh, an hour and uh, what do you know? I am greeted with a printer that's actually ready. <laughs> so let's see if I can get it off of the print bed. Yeah, okay. There's some stuck, but here is our very first print with the Aligu Neptune 3 Max. 
and dokie um it actually looks very good very nice for a first print i'll take that <laughs> yeah a very successful first print right no issues whatsoever okay so that is basically it right uh, that's the setup procedure for this uh, printer how to get it up and running now again you can do all kinds of uh, settings change all kinds of settings most times you do that in your slicer right but um, yeah no hiccups I'm glad so if you are left with questions about uh, this printer or printer in general don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below for now I want to thank you for watching catch you on the next video bye bye